Hello and welcome to the instructional video for the DeSuta Medical CC7 car source system. This advanced car source system comes in two options. Firstly, the CC7 with extraction and the CC8 without extraction. The CC8 saw requires its own low voltage PS8 power supply unit. Today we'll focus on the CC7 with extraction and I'm going to take you through the features and functions. I'm now going to talk you through the features of the extractor unit. Firstly, disconnect the extractor from the power supply using the plug at the back. You can then release the clips on the side of the system before removing the unit and placing it to one side. Inside the extractor, you'll find a filter and a dust bag. Please ensure the dust bag is securely fastened to the inlet pipe before placing your filter back over the top followed by your extraction unit. Secure the clips on each side and reconnect to the power supply with the plug in the back. You can disconnect the extraction hose by simply pressing this button and pulling the extraction hose out. You can plug back in with a simple push and click. The CC7 saw is connected here you can disconnect this by pressing the button and sliding away. And you can reconnect by sliding with a push and click. On the back of the extraction unit, you will find an extraction mode selector where you can choose between auto and manual. Auto will switch on the extractor once the standby button on the CC7 saw is pressed. Manual will run the extractor in isolation and the saw will not activate. I'm now going to talk you through the CC7 saw handpiece. Firstly, you'll notice that I've clipped the power cable to the extraction hose to keep things neat and tidy. Now I'll draw your attention to the blade loading mechanism, which is keyless. You can open the mechanism by pushing this lever. You can then take your CC7 blade, place it over the top and into place before releasing the lever to lock. At this stage, the tool is in auto, so once I press the standby button, the tool will fire up. If I press the button again within 3 seconds, you'll activate a low speed mode. To deactivate the system, press the standby button once again. Once finished with the blade, you can simply release the lever, take the blade off, and release. You then have the option to use a vacuum nozzle to clean up any debris. You can then replace the vacuum nozzle and replace the saw. Please note that the best way to store the saw is to place the extraction hose into this groove before placing the handpiece down. 